Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and today we're gonna try and create the Grandmaster Feline gear, the Grandmaster Cat School gear. And uh, for that we uh, we went to Bartolome de Lonnais house, I think that's how you should pronounce it. Uh, and it's this lovely manor over here, so let's take a look around if we can get inside. There's apparently a person in distress. Inside can't find a way inside but we need to check out how we can get in there from the back maybe I'm just gonna show you on the map really quickly where we should uh, start this off so right in the north of the the Beauclair the the Toussaint map we have this place right here you have the Artach palace ruins over there and then the the simple trading post to the south so that's pretty much where it is right over there seems like there's a person in distress so let's help him out because he might be able to point us in the right direction. Um, oh, there seems to be some broken scaffolding to the south side of the estate. So let's use that to get inside and see what's going on here. Probably some bandits. Looks like that. So let's get me some uh, hangman's venom. There we go. And with Quen in hand, that should uh, not take long. Let's take care of the archers first, as always. Because these are always a bit uh, less resilient to everything. Most of these guys don't have shields, so let's do that. There we go. Let's set them ablaze and just finish them off right. Easy. No, no, no. Oh, and he died from the poison. There we go. So... Okay. Seems like we're going to have a little cutscene here. My soul cannot handle this. It simply cannot. Oh, let me all wounds. Okay, Calm are you down. a merchant it's of over. some kind? I thank you, sir. And you must forgive me my momentary loss of composure. Are you in need of accoutrements, monsieur? Accoutrements? Wait, does that mean you're going to sell me clothes? That's a word I'm not really familiar with. Mind showing me your wares? Witcher diagrams, I'm looking for some. Looking for scrolls, manuscripts, bearing diagrams of Witcher gear specifically. Any chance you've happened on any? I've not yet managed to inventory the sundries. I arrived just a short while ago. The bandits arrived with their terror. But you may ferret about if you so wish. Okay then, so is this your place by the way? What are you doing here? Villa looks abandoned. You its owner? More its temporary steward. By order of the treasury minister, I am to serve as caretaker of Count Delaunay's properties and estates. The count is missing. Delaunay. No one at the palace warned me. Villafid that is the lair of bandits. That is to say it was, but is no more. Thanks to your heroism, Monsieur Witcher. You're welcome. Um, so yeah, if you don't know where the Witcher diagrams are, I'm just gonna bid you Thanks. farewell. So long. Uh, let's take a look around then. And he jumped back into his pose. What's with the combat music? Uh, key to Villa Fedet. Okay. Orders for Reuben. Reuben, some quill pusher from her crease, the Dunkessa. Scord has been sniffing around Villa Fedet. Don't reckon I need to explain why I don't like that, eh? Nor how much. You have to find this clerk and kill him, burn the building, anyone in there with him, the noose. No raping, no impaling, keep it simple, then head back to the art, art hach ruins, quick, because I've got some other job for you, a stragon. And if I'm not mistaken, I've been to the ruins already, because I thought that was kind of a uh, radiant quest and killed all the bandits over there, including this stragon guy. So yeah, that might be easy in a minute, but uh, we'll see about that. Let's quickly loot these guys. There's another door over here. Oh, hello. Can't get in here. Seems like there's some food. The bandits were actually cooking some nice things. Loot. Letter to Bartolome de Lonay and the Grandmaster Feline Armor. That's one already. Dear Bartolome, I have received your letter and, and am delighted you have found a solution to your problems. 
The Witcher you described does indeed seem dangerous, and you yourself always told me they are all freaks and cold-hearted murderers. Yet despite all that, I still think you should agree to his offer. If those diagrams truly do outline revolutionary new methods in armor smithing, not only will you be able to complete the contract her grace has given you, but you will also earn a great deal of glory for yourself. And that, I know, is what you value above all else. Going to the bandits who dwell in the ruins of Artak Palace for protection is a wise move. If the knights could not get the best of them, a witcher will also feel duly cowed in their presence. Shady miscreants of all types always respect each other, still be extra careful during that meeting. Bandits and witchers are not to be trusted. Yours truly, Belinda de Lomay. Another tale of a life compromised and ultimately claimed by greed and ambition. Okay. So, a witcher came with the... Huh, interesting. With the diagrams and instead of talking to him, they went to the bandits for protection and got the diagrams from the witcher that way, probably. Um, so, we need to go to the entrance of the pits of broom and explore the ruins of Artak Palace. But if I'm not mistaken, the Guardians are now guarding the Artak Palace and there are no bandits there anymore. So if that's the case, I'm just gonna head there quickly and all should be in order. So give me a minute. So I'm actually really glad that I can show this because this place is actually amazing. Because uh, the fight you need to do here is actually pretty, pretty tough because there's a lot of bandits. I think there's about uh, 40 bandits guarding this place. It was really really hectic because i needed to kill them all um but most of them i've been able to kill them because i could funnel them through the entrance uh, and then of course there was a boss bandit at the top and when we killed them all the north guardians came in and uh, took the place for themselves so that's why these guys are all friendly and i think if i'm not mistaken the diagram should be on the top here there we go let's use this ladder and then I should be able... Yeah, they made some uh, some stairs over here. And this is where you fought the bandit. And I think I left the diagrams over here just in case we would uh, get to this video. Oh yeah, okay, it's over here. So in the, the middle area where you can get up to the north side of the, uh, the, the ruins is the loot box. And I left it uh, untouched here because there are actually two diagrams in here. So uh, the feline trousers and the feline boots. I'm not going to take the rusty bread knife, but... Hansa leaders note. So uh, a giant bandit camp in uh, Toussaint is called the Hansa. Um, and yeah, there were, well, a group of bandits. So I should be able to read the leaders notes. There we go. It all went off without a hitch. Bartolome de Lone proved a poncy fool, just like I thought. Witcher fell right into our trap too, but too much stock in his skills. Put too much stock in his skills, thought he could handle anything. At first we acted like bored tugs, just picking our noses and waiting for our pay. When the Lone and the Witcher finally came to terms, the Witcher let slip he was hiding the rest of the diagrams in the pits of broom. Dangerous place that, but maybe we'll find some safe route to the Witcher's cache. One bolt from the black took care of the Lone. Expected more trouble from the Witcher, so we hit him with a couple. Good thing too, because he still had a good heap of life in him, though he couldn't even get up off his belly. I let the lads check just how much pain a Witcher can stomach, They'd learned a bit of recreation after the fine job they'd done. They'd earned a bit of recreation after the fine job they'd done, okay. And we grabbed the coin of the Lonay and soon we're off to the pits of broom to get those precious diagrams and sell for all we can. So the bandits killed the Witcher and killed the Lonay as well. Uh, because of, well, his kind of... He kind of got backstabbed by the bandits he hired for protection which is not to be uh, surprised by. So uh, I'll head to the Pits of Broom. Hopefully we'll find the last three diagrams over there. So give me a second. Find the entrance of the Pits of... Oh no, not again. Geralt, get your sword out. Okay, there we go. And there we go, okay. I'm kind of getting used to killing these. Um, hop umbels, that's not, can I? Okay, there we go, because these guys are always packing a nice bit of loot. Let's see, seems like the entrance is just right over here. It seems like it's a nice little monster nest as well. Of course, why couldn't it be easy? 
Um, hmm. I'm kind of having the feeling that the bandits that tried to get here might actually have died as well, because this looks like a big cave. Oh god, I think I saw another arch boar. Yeah, there we go. Oh shit. Okay, that's one. Do need to be careful, because there's a lot more where that came from. There we go. But with, of course, our uh, Arondite sword, those critical hits take care of those really, really quickly. Which is actually really nice. Thank you for all that. And I think, shouldn't we be able... Yeah. With the one over here, we can loot that as well. Big cave, although it seems like we're kind of already in the uh, the main area. What is this? Okay, just blood moss, and I think I see sparklies over here. It set this aflame for some reason. It's a campfire, okay. Alexandra's journal and the last three diagrams. Steel sword, silver sword, and the gauntlets. Thank you very much. But I am curious how this all ended. Alexandria, that's probably the witcher. Burned all my bridges, no returning possible. Not after I committed murder and took those Grandmaster diagrams. Probably already on my tail. Hope to finish the deal quick and start a new life in the south. My time as a witcher is over. Can't trust the Lone, especially since he insisted we meet in a bandit's den. Hid the diagrams in a cave which no ordinary man will be able to enter. If everything goes smooth, I'll collect my coin, tell him the cash is in the pits of broom, then offer to escort him there for an additional fee. If it doesn't go smooth and someone finds these notes, notice it was worth it. Worth killing my own, worth stealing, worth anything to escape from a miserable life on the path. So apparently, Alexandre the Witcher killed. It. The urge to drop it all and ride off into the sunset. This one decided to act on the urge. Costs be damned. Diagrams have a sad history, but I'll make good use of them. So yeah, Alexandre apparently killed some witches as well. That's what he's alluding to, anyway. And um, yeah. Oh, and there's this corpse over here as well. Love letter signed by Bella de Juness and a lot of holy shit. That's gonna help out with creating these things. Uh, but first, so Alexandre killed a few of the witchers. Then kind of expected that he was going to die at the bandit camp. It went anyway for some reason. Hoping that it would uh, end well, that he could deal with the bandits. But that uh, ended badly, that we know. And then Bella de Juness is the lover of the Count, if I'm not mistaken. The Count that died. So my cherished friend, Gustav, I yearn to thank you for your last rendezvous. At the very thought of another, I burst with rapturous joy. Can you believe two people previously unknown to one another could become so close so quickly? You asked if there is anything I prize most dearly. Well, Gustav, I have always had a fondness for flowers. My tragically deceased fiancé would gather them for me in the pits of broom. I'd be lying if I said I had ever seen some seen blooms more fair. Ah, the very thought that you too would go to such lengths and pick me a bouquet with your own strong hands. It makes my heart skip a beat. If you were to bring me those blossoms, it would prove tr you truly love me. Yours forever, Bella de Juness. Wait a second, so... This is... So Bella de Juness was the, the lover of the Count, but the Count died in the bandit camp. So this guy, Gustav, is probably a lover of her that she sent to die because she knew that this cave would be filled with death. That was... Horrible. Okay, some gauntlets apparently. That's not really the the corpse was full with crafting materials though. That's gonna help out really really nicely. Um, I do wonder where this is going. Doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. Just pops back up over here. Um, so yeah, that was interesting. So, if I'm not mistaken, that Bella just sent someone to die over here. So those were the Grandmaster diagrams. I'm gonna head back to the, uh, the Grandmaster uh, blacksmith, if you want to call him like that. And uh, we'll try to craft that lovely set. So back in Beauclair, it's really, really early, early in the morning. So I'm not really sure if he's gonna be awake already, but this... Okay, that was... Yeah, tex textures, please. Holy shit, that was creepy. Uh, 
Appears like Lafargue is already awake, so hello. Greetings. My I voice went a bit high, well. so I kind of sounds like I got hit in the balls. Um, so, like you to craft something for me. Would you craft something? So for I'm really me? curious how of that course. Grandmaster Cat School gear will look. So, I actually needed to nip back to Corvo Bianco for a minute, because in stark contrast to the Grandmaster Wolven Boots, you actually need the Mastercrafted gear of the other schools if you want to boost them up to Grandmaster, which is actually the way I preferred it to be. But, but if, as you can see at the Grandmaster Wolven Boots, we don't need the Mastercrafted Wolven Boots, because we can actually make those now. I'm going to have to uh, watch out that I don't misclick myself. So, the Grandmaster Feline Boots. As you can see, I lost quite a bit of money because I also uh, built most of the crafting components I need. So, Mastercrafted Feline Boots, one infused slizzard height, which is actually a um, drag cure dragonet ladder with an infused crystal. And then we have Enriched Dimeridium Plate, which you can actually not uh, boost from a Dimeridium Plate, which is actually stupid. Uh, aside, maybe there's a, a crafting recipe for that in his inventory. Might be actually. Need to check that. But enriched Dimeridium Plate, uh, one, two monster bones and four monster claws. Not that bad, aside of course from the uh, infused and enriched stuff. And of course the Mastercraft gear, if you haven't got that already. But Grandmaster Feline Boots, here we go. Grandmaster Feline Armor, so the Mastercrafted Armor, two infused Slizzard Hides, two enriched Dimeridium Plates, so very, very expensive as you can see right over there. 4,573 for one, I think that is. Uh, two monster livers and two monster hearts. So basic monster ingredients. Not that bad. Grandmaster feline armor. Grandmaster feline trousers. So the mastercrafted trousers. One slizzard hide infused slizzard hide. One enriched dimeridium plate. Two monster tongues and two bits of monster blood. There we go. Then the last armor piece is, yeah, I spend all my money again. Uh, Mastercrafted feline gauntlets, infused slithered hide, one enriched dimeridium ingot, two monster bones and a monster tissue, powdered monster tissue. So Grandmaster feline gauntlets, there we go. I'm gonna be really close to the end of my funds. So, had to sell half my inventory to get a bit more coin. But Grandmaster Feline Silver Sword, we need the Mastercrafted Silver Sword, some leather scraps, two enriched Dimeridium ingots, a sapphire, and a monster tooth. All there. Thank you very much. And then the final part, the Grandmaster Feline Steel Sword, the Mastercrafted Steel Sword, some leather scraps, two enriched Dimeridium ingots, another sapphire, and a bit of monster blood. Thank you very much. And now let's see how that looks now, shall we? Farewell. Good luck on the path. Thank you, Lafarge. Lo, so let's get outside and put this bad boy on. Look at this. I look like a fucking rogue. Um, so this is the Grandmaster feline gear in its entirety. Uh, this is the silver sword, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the steel sword. I think the steel sword looks pretty nice, actually. Um, and the hood. Look at that hood. That's really, really nice. A lot of studs has, have been added. A bit of uh, steel parts on the armor. So let's put that sword back where it's supposed to be. And yeah, it really looks pretty cool. And it's actually not that bad as well. So let's take a look at the stats. And there we go. So the steel sword is a respectable 409 damage max. Then 50% art sign intensity, not that interesting. 10% critical hit chance, 15% chance to bleed, chance to dismember, and a bit of extra experience. And the, the bonuses for the Grandmaster gear are actually a bit more interesting. Strong attacks increase fast attack damage for 5 seconds by 10% for each piece of the set. So current bonus is 60%. So if you do a strong attack, your fast attacks are 60% more powerful in the next 5 seconds, which is actually really cool. A rear attacks deal 50% more damage and also stun opponents at the cost of one adrenaline point. Pretty powerful in the right hands, but it's not really that interesting uh, to me. Then we have the Silver Sword, same kind of bonuses except that you get uh, bonus experience from monsters. Uh, and 576 damage is not as good as the Aeron died, of course. Chest armor, 240. It's actually better in armor rating 
than the uh, Grandmaster Wolven gear, which is interesting because the feline armor is actually light armor, so you get more stamina back to perform uh, signs more quickly. 22% uh, attack power and a lot of resistances, especially against elemental damage. Gloves as well, same kind of uh, resistances and attack power boost. So that's a, a really, really fast attacking kind of gear. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to quickly show you the stats in its entirety. That's how it looks on Geralt and that's the stats you're going to get from uh, the sword and the, well, the armor in its entirety. Look at that. He looks... He looks devilishly handsome, doesn't he? His uh, hair in front of his eyes with light right there. Yeah, that's it in its entirety. And with that done, I'm, well, broke again. But uh, we have another Grandmaster set to add to the collection. And I uh, hope you guys got something out of this video. Uh, a bit of tips on how to get it. And there was actually a, a lot uh, a very nice story behind it again. Because uh, they kind of dropped that in the uh, further diagrams of the standard gear. So the superior, the enhanced and the mastercrafted gear don't really have much story connected to them. But the grandmaster gear has a uh, story again. So that's really nasty as well. But with that done... Uh, I'm gonna take a little break, so thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.